Well, good morning, everybody. Today is, what is it, January 26th, actually. So January uh, really, really snuck by for me. Um, I was supposed to be contributing and making all these video things, but I'll be honest, um, besides the holidays and a couple little minor things here and there, um, on our farm, we don't, we don't have cattle. We just have to take care of pig barns and do different things like that. Um, not a whole lot of crazy stuff has been going on. Um, moving some snow, obviously, because we need to make sure the barns stay clear for trucks coming in and out, whether they're bringing pigs to the barn, taking pigs to market, or um, bringing feed to the barn. So different things like that um, tend to keep us a little bit busy. But other than that, um, I've just kind of been chowing away and going from there. So something else, I, I figure it's kind of a good time to do this for two reasons. One, it's a really cold, windy day outside. And two, um, I actually just got back home from Pier last night. Um, went out for the day with a couple other pork producers from from in different parts of the state. And what we do at Pier is um, go to Pier and talk to our to our legislators, not only in our districts but around the whole state, and talk about um, positive legislation or no legislation at all, depends on how you look at it, to support. Um, the industry that we do each and every day and that kind of goes back to advocacy so no matter when you're explaining to someone say maybe a consumer say maybe it's someone that uh that maybe is uneasy about how how we raise pork just let them know that hey i i'm a pig farmer i raise pigs each and every day and what i do to um for my pigs is for their best interest and well-being perfect example it's 75 degrees in those barns and it is about four degrees with a 40 mile an hour wind to be honest, I wouldn't be surprised if you guys get called off of school today. I'm patiently waiting for uh, my wife Taylor, she's in the high school office, to give me a phone call saying, yep, I'm on my way home. But you guys will see this after the fact, so don't get your hopes up if it's bluebird skies when you see this. But, um, but that goes back to advocacy. So no matter if you're explaining to a legislator in, in Pier or Washington, D.C., either way, um, just know that they work for and represent you as as a person of South Dakota and this nation. So um, advocate for your industry and, and keep reminding people that what we do is right and we do it um, with, our, with the best interests of not only our pigs, but our family and the people that, that use and eat our products in mind. Well, back again, ladies and gentlemen. So. Today is Saturday the 28th, 29th, something like that, but it's a Saturday. So what I'm doing today is doing my quick weekend chores, kind of walking through the barn, making sure everything's up to stuff. Got a little more time today usually, um, but now it's nine o'clock. So um, I got asked to go help with a butcher load that we're loading out, which is um, instead of 30 pound pigs that I deal with, I get to deal with 300 pounders today. So. I'll get to show you guys some big differences on my barn compared to that finisher barn. And uh, yeah, we'll go load out some pigs. So some of the main differences that you guys are going to see is uh, differences in the barn, as in my barn is very much noisy piggies. My barn is very much set up for smaller pigs, smaller equipment. I've got small cracks in my flooring and this is plastic flooring. The bigger barn is gonna be more big heavy duty stuff. I mean, mounted to the floor, solid, so that 300 pound pig can't destroy anything. Uh, sometimes they're still hard on stuff anyway. But the main difference is going to be instead of this plastic flooring, instead of this stuff that you see here, it's going to be solid cement. And I'll go show you that. Man, we are kind of noisy this morning, guys. Woo hey, big fellas. Well, good deal. I thought I was going to be late, but uh, our trucker isn't here yet. So, good job, Adam. We're on time for this load. I don't know if you guys can see it, but our highway is way over there. That's Highway 22, about a half mile away. And these are my dad's barns. These are the finisher barns. And I see that the rest of our load crew is here. So, we're gonna bop back into the barn, drink my coffee a little more. Man, it's kind of bumpy here. And uh, we'll wait for the trucker to get here and start showing you guys some things about this finisher and how we load pigs. 
So let's look at a little bit of what it's like in the finisher barn. So right here is where we're gonna be loading out of. This is the ramp that we go up and the truck's gonna be right there eventually. I think I hear him coming actually. We'll go up there and see if we can see him quick. Oh yeah, here he is. Good deal, so he'll get backed up. So we are loading, I think, 74 out of this side and 104 out of this side. Now we need to be really careful and keep those separate because there's a feed trial going on in here. I didn't know that, so glad somebody in here knows what's going on. So when they sort, all these mark pigs are gonna get on the truck today and go to market. And there's skeets there and there. The feeders are kind of a natural divider. So when they sort and everything, they're up toward the front. That way we can run them up and down this alleyway and uh, bring them right here to this door and onto the truck. So you guys will notice this one's got a big curtain that my barn doesn't have. So in the summertime, they can stay cooler. There's five huge fans on that end. I'll maybe go look at those. I think they're like four foot diameter, something like that. Um, but yeah, just some way bigger pigs than what I'm used to. And we got the slats here too. Be very careful. Your phone will fit down one of those, Adam. All right, Q-Danger, let's load some hogs. Hit pigs, hit pigs. You want to take half? I'll take the other half. Yep. Okay. All right, come on, boys. Come on, boys. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Come on, boys. There you go. Shoo, 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 shoo. Shoo, 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 shoo. 